Right, in this video, uh, it's a continu no, continuation of that 6-6. Six, six. Um, I'm going to be drawing the top view in this. Uh, the last time I did a video, we looked at how we did the left view with me looking across at the left view and seeing that cutting plane. The right view in this question, they didn't ask you to do the cutting plane, so you can see that surface. In this view, we are going to be looking down like this eagle and the question asks you for the cutting plane. You can see that I have already drawn that cutting plane and I'll need to draw that last base over there. So how do I go about doing that? Well, two ways of doing that. We can transfer the points from the XY axis over here, find two, so there's two over there, find two over there, come down over here, place that down over there, mark it off as two, do the same thing with one, take it from the XY axis, find one over here, come down, place it over here, and mark it off as one. The thing that I'd like you to see is, as soon as you've got points that are in the same point in this view over here, it means that there is a line which is going to be parallel to the XY axis over here. So if I've got A and 1 uh, on the same point, it's a point view, in this view over here, or in any of the other views, um, you'll see that that will be a, um, a line parallel to the XY axis. Let's just have a look at that idea. Uh, in, in this drawing over here, A and 6, they're on the same point. Therefore, A and 6 has a parallel line to the XY axis. Same story with 8 and C. 8 and C over there. 8 and C is a point view over there. If it's a point view over there, note the distance over here between 8 and C is the same. So when I come over here, let's go to C, take that across, put C down, and you should find that 8 and C are in the same plane. All right, let's just try that again. There we go, 8 and C, 8 and C, that is in the same plane. Right, okay, if we know that, well, I can take lines coming directly out from these points over here to link up with the points over there. So I've got B is linked to 2. I can take a line parallel to my x, y axis over here, take that across, I will be able to see that. Why? Because my eagle can come down and pick that line over there. As soon as I've got that, well, I know that 1 and A, A and 1, that is a point view over there, therefore I've got a parallel line going across here. That's an edge, so I can draw that in. C and 3, C and 3 over here, C and 3 is a point view over there, therefore I can take a line coming straight across from C to 3. There's the line coming down from 3. So I've got 3 over there. Uh, 4 and D. Is that right? 4 and D. There's D coming down to 4. Now, can my eagle see that line? No, it is underneath. So that line must be done as a hidden detail line. Hidden detail going across from D to 4. Same story with E. E going to 5, that's going to be hidden detail. Why? Because my eagle can't get to that line. Right? E to 5, there's 5 coming down over here, there's E, I can do a hidden detail line going across there. And from that, I can then draw hidden detail lines going up to 1, a hidden detail line 1 going down to, what was it, 1 going down to? One going down to five over there. Five going across to four over there. Three going to four. That's a hidden detail line. There's four. And these two lines over here are going to be solid because they are edges and I have to draw them in as solid lines. They can't be hidden detail. Right, once you've got that, that's your top view finished. Right, my next video, I need to take a look at how to draw the true shape of the cutting plane. None of these cutting planes are the true shape. The reason being is that I'm not looking at 90 degrees to the cutting plane from that eagle's view. All right, if I'm looking down, you'll see that I've got an angle over here between 
my cutting plane and my view from the um, from the little eagle. For me to get a, a, a true shape, my eagle is going to have to look at it at 90 degrees. I must look at it at 90 degrees and that I'm going to discuss in my next video.